All right, let's talk about the weird things in real estate you never think about, but will cause a disaster. First up we have is what you should be putting up if you have a property that's listed and you got a showing going on. First up, you're gonna put up anything that is valuable to you, whether it's your Rolexes, your gold bullion, your grandma's necklace that she gave you, I don't care, go put it away. We have heard horror stories from people that have had missing iPads, computers, even tennis shoes go missing. And every now and then, little Timmy decides to put a toy in his pocket because he likes what somebody else has and it goes missing and it's somebody else's favorite stuffed animal. So yes, go put your stuff up. Now, that being said, if you've got one of our manual agents here, they have been trained. Yes, we have to train on how to show a property correctly of keeping everybody together and making sure that we all go in this group. It's like a tour guide. We don't let anybody wander off from our tour guide because we don't want to get in trouble with the principal when we come back from the field trip. It does happen. That being said, put up all your valuables. Next thing that you might want to put up is all your views. Yes. Even though you're from the country, like me, we don't want you to leave out your pew pews. If you happen to leave a weapon out, other people in this society don't teach proper safety and handling. So you might see a kid, he see one laying on the nightstand or underneath your bed, and next thing you know, you're on the news. Yes, for not having something stored away properly. So put those in your safe, put them away, whatever you need to do during a showing. I get it, self-defense, great, come to my house, same situation but put up all your pew pews. Not only just your pew pews, if it's your pocket knife, like literally, I've got mine on me right now. Like, look, I just sit it on my nightstand. If I left and I left it sitting on my nightstand, guess what? It could be a danger. Some little kid's gonna pick it up and maybe like carve their name into the side of your bed. I don't know. Maybe your maces, your fireworks, whatever it is, keep things away that might be a hazard to little kids is pretty much what it comes down to it. So put up all your home defense items because we all know I can't say anything on here or we're gonna get in trouble. All right, tip number three, and this one's a little bit debatable depending on where you live and everything else, is put up your dead animals. I don't care if you killed that little three-point buck and you wanna display it for the whole world to see. Some people in this world will only be mesmerized about that little three-point buck. It's like, mm. Or maybe you're Ricky Bob and you got a bobcat like that's stuffed over there that says, I wanna go fast. I don't know. People sometimes can be blinded by your dead animals that are sitting on the other side of the house. And instead of looking at your house, they're looking at this animal. Cause that's really what you wanted to happen in the first place. It's your showpiece, your elephant sitting on the side of the wall, your moose, whatever it is, I don't care. Take it down. Now, if you're in the mountains of North Carolina, yeah, by God, go ahead and put it up there because that might be the reason why they're trying to actually buy your property. So then go deer hunting. Cool. Tip number four of things that you should be putting away before you are actually having a showing on your property is the photos of yourself. We want people to actually go through a property and look at the house and not look at your photos. Maybe you've had a lot of weight loss and everybody's like, dang, that person has lost a lot of weight throughout the year. Or dang, that girl was really ugly in second grade, but now look at her. Or oh, I know those people, they're really mean and I don't wanna do any business with them. Yes, I know everything about you. So the only thing that they think about is why you're moving, not your property itself. Take down all your family photos, put up some generic crap. I know you don't want to, but nobody wants to see little Susie's going from an ugly duckling to a swan coming down the side of your steps. I know, you love it, great. Put it up in your next house. Next tip for what you need to put up before a showing. Now, this one's a little bit uncomfortable for myself, but it's the brown chicken wow wow. You know, adult toys, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, you probably don't wanna leave those sitting on your nightstand, just sitting out in the open for, you know, little Timmy to ask, hey, daddy. What are these handcuffs doing right here? No, we don't want that. We don't want to have to explain anything. Us as agents don't want to be shoving stuff in drawers and not knowing where we just put them in the actual show and we're like trying to pull stuff back out and put it back on the table. I know, it's just a little bit awkward. And especially if you have any furniture, chairs, swings, all kinds of stuff. I know you weirdos, don't leave those out because then everybody's just going to be staring and talking about your weird furniture that you have around your house and not the actual property itself, just the things that went on inside of it. Another little quick pro tip is, ladies, don't forget the ones that you might have in the bathroom. I literally one day opened up a shower curtain to see how, if it was tiled or if it was a shower kit and went whoop, and then 
there went Big Jim Tom just stuck to the side of the bathtub and I'm like, uh, uh, yeah, it's not tiled. It's just one whole shower kit. Thank you. Shut it up. It happens. So remember, put up all your stuff. Be ready for showing anytime that you are ready to actually list your property. Your property should be in show ready condition. So whether that means being all swept up, your beds made, everything clean, dishes put away. People don't want to see your grossness. Why? Because then they think that you didn't keep the house up the whole time. We all live in them. We know that. But whenever you're showing them, it's a totally different animal, especially right now, turning into more of a buyer's market. So we want to have a great first impression. You're not going to invite somebody over on a date to your property and have everything erect. Well, you are dating people whenever it comes to showing them your property that you want to sell. Next tip that I've got is for your recreational uh, afternoon activities. So whether you uh, like the devil's lettuce, the peace pipe, whatever it is, maybe it's booze sitting out everywhere. Put it up, put it away. We've got little kids, we've got high schoolers that are coming through a property. If you don't think that your glassware might detract somebody from purchasing your property, well, you are wrong. We don't want it to look like Cheech and Chong sitting around our houses. I know that's not everybody, but maybe booze is your thing. Don't have a lot of beer bottles just sitting out everywhere. Take your trash off. Put your liquor bottles in the liquor cabinet. Okay, people, it's 2023. We can be responsible adults. All right, maybe. I'm working on it. Last tip I have for you is if you can't get these things put away or have your bed made, things like that, hey, don't decline the showing because again it is a buyer's market they might go move on to the next property immediately but do call your agent and say my house is a wreck what should i do or my house had a wild night last night i've got stuff sitting everywhere and i didn't clean up this is an embarrassing conversation maybe run home do whatever you need to do but don't cancel the showing without talking to your agent first I would personally try to have everything picked up, ready to go. Now, if it's not, your beds aren't made and you've got like some dust and stuff on the floor, definitely just keep that showing. All right, so that's all the tips I got for you for showing right now on inside of your property. We'll have another video. You can like and subscribe and we'll do what you need to do on the outside of your property next.